Good morning, everyone. So it is currently Sunday, and I have just been to Starbucks, and I have just gotten my drink, so let's sit out in the balcony and talk, shall we? Okay, so I got my iced matcha today instead of going for the pumpkin spice, and it was the first time I've ever been to Starbucks where they were like, we're completely out of ice. Not that that's a problem, but like, it just like threw me off. I've never, <laughs> I've never thought that Starbucks runs out of ice. <laughs> Hold on, my dad's texting me. He said he's just Sunday shopping. Ooh. Ooh, where are ye I Groceries or something fun? Oh my god, I don't know the last time my dad's went out shopping. Quite exciting. Um, anyway, one thing I got today, let me try this. I wonder if it's much different if it doesn't have ice in it. Hold on. Mmm. Just kind of tastes mild. Um, but anyway, um, my friend Kat messaged me today and was like, this is super random, but have you ever had the I the egg bites from Starbucks? And I was like, number one, that is really random, and number two, I have not, um, because she knows that I love my hard-boiled eggs and my eggs and stuff, and she was like, Starbucks have uh, these eggs where it's, what were they called again? They were like, I'm gonna try pull them up here to get the correct name of it, but it was the egg bites, so this is what they look like, and it was so funny because she had messaged me today and asked me if... Okay, well that was really fucking awkward, so I've now moved in from my balcony, and I'm gonna finish my train of thought, which was about eggs, um, but I look up... <laughs> One thing I'm probably most excited for, um, in terms of moving, above anything else to do with this apartment, is the nosy-ass neighbors. <laughs> so the way the balconies are set up, like, anyone can see into everyone's balcony um which is different than in manchester because my manchester apartment is a closed off balcony so no one is able to see into my balcony i'm not able to see into anyone else's balcony and i'm very excited for that because that entire time that i was out there um you know whenever you feel like someone's watching you which isn't the most bizarre thing in the entire world anyway because um like my neighbor that's like up from me stares down at me most days and especially whenever like my mom comes and stuff like he, he, they'll stare stare down at her and make her very uncomfortable. Like, I'm not talking about looking. Like, I mean, literally, like, hanging off the balcony, staring down, and just being very, very, very weird. So that entire time that I was filming, I could sense that someone was looking at me, so I'd look up, and I tried to focus on the fact I was filming, and I look up, and there's, like, three of them, like, three of the men, or whoever it is, literally leaned over the balcony just staring at me. And by the way, like... They're literally like, I could have thrown a ball and they could have catched it, like, we were that close. Literally just hanging off, staring at me. And they, they used to do it constantly, um, like, last month and the month before that and stuff that I, like, I, like, really don't like going out of my balcony because I just feel like I'm being watched and I feel very uncomfortable. Um, but I, the entire time I was filming, I'd look up and they're, they're leaned over the balcony, literally like this. This is, this is how it looked. Oh, sorry, I just kicked my table. Literally like this, leaned over, staring. And just as if I'm the fucking commentary for them. Um, so anyway, I have abruptly came in and I'm gonna finish my train of thought. My friend Kat messaged me this morning and was like, I know you love your eggs, like I love my horrible eggs and stuff. And she was like, have you ever had the egg bites from Starbucks? And I was like, no. And she, I was like, also this is a really weird first thing to say, like good morning. And she was like, um, my girlfriend says that you would love them. So this is the first time that I went to Starbucks and they actually had them, which is really surreal. This is the day that she messaged me about them. This is what they look like. I want to try it. So apparently it's like egg bites with spinach and red pepper. Okay, let's try it. They're quite soggy. The texture is throwing me off already, but they're nice. Oh, they're actually very, very, very nice. Okay. Talk your shit, cat. Talk your shit. The texture is a little bit iffy, but... This to be expected with eggs. It's kind of like a scrambled egg, but like all in one. But they are very nice, very red peppery. Anyway, last night was a fun night with the girls. Um, so we all went out bar hopping, like I said. Um, and they were all wanting to go out because they're trying to promote this new event that they're all doing. So a couple of them have started like this like lesbian, like hyper pop night. And it's in I think a week or something, and they're just trying their best to promote it. Obviously, it's very hard, you know, starting off and doing your own event, especially when you have so many competitors. So I went out with them last night. We were giving out, like, little brochure, like, leaflets to the event. Um, and so I hope that they have, you know, a couple more people that get to go to that. Obviously, I'm going to be going to that. Um, so I can't wait for that. This drink tastes really surreal that it doesn't have the ice in it. It tastes almost like a melted ice cream. It's like really nice because it's like quite warm. Hmm. I think I kind of prefer it without ice. 
I think so. Oh, my dad texted me back. I wonder where he's shopping. Groceries for coming week and getting dinner. Lots of fun. Oh, I thought he was like going shopping for funsies. Okay, I want to talk about something. So, my friend who moved to Japan is now in Japan. I don't know if anyone keeps up with the vlogs, but I talked about her a couple days ago. And she's moved and I, I was kind of sending her some well wishes and nice words today because I feel really bad for her. Um, she is there and she's finding it very lonely and she's struggling a little bit because obviously there is a huge language barrier like uh, she speaks the language um, but she's struggling a lot with feeling the comfortability of speaking the language out in Japan and so she feels that she doesn't want to make any mistakes and so she's kind of like holding herself back a little bit. Um, she also just said that she just feels very lonely because she hasn't met any friends yet because classes don't start for like another two weeks. Um, which I didn't know that. I didn't know that they like send her out to Japan and she has like two weeks of like free for all before she starts classes. So I mean, how is she supposed to meet people? She flew out alone and stuff. And I sent her a big message and I was like, babe, this is not on the com comparability at all. But when I moved to Brighton, it took me a few weeks to get over the, oh my god, I've made the wrong decision, I'm never going to meet any friends, and I'm going to be alone forever kind of mentality because you start to stress yourself out. And I was saying to her, like, once you get over that, and in a couple of years when you look back, she's only in Japan for a year, but I was saying, like, when you finish this year and look back, you'll be like, oh my god, I was so, I was so innocent and I was so pure in those first couple of weeks and I didn't know what was coming. And so I was, saying, I was saying to her that this is how I felt whenever I moved to Brighton, which obviously is not, moving from Ireland to England is not comparable to moving to Ireland to Japan, you know what I mean? And so I was saying to her, like, just ride out this wave and then when you start meeting people through the program of the other students who are there on the international program like you will start to love it I just I felt really sad for her today whenever I know that obviously she's going to be struggling a little bit for these first couple weeks because it's a very lonely thing you know being sent across the globe on your own and you don't even get to meet people your age or people that um speak English actually you know that where she's not trying to um, speak a different language and not feeling comfortable so she doesn't you know want to mess up so she's not speaking that language so she's just trying to find people that you know can speak English that she can have a little bit of comfortability with to then get the the comfortability to um, speak in the native language um, so I just my heart today whenever I was sending her those messages I was like she is so far away and I just hope she knows that it, it will get better and it will be the best thing she's ever done and she will meet um, amazing folk out there and she will have the most amazing time but I completely sympathize with her about how hard it is at the start whenever you move away and again I'm like trying to be like you know this is not comparable but whenever I moved like I felt really lonely at the start and then obviously she's coming back with yeah I completely agree with that thank you but the only problem is just that like I don't fluently speak their language and so that's obviously holding back even more so and I'm like yeah I know I'm sorry so I just feel so bad for her and I, I know it's gonna be the most amazing thing for her and I know once she gets over this little bit of the original you know first few days first few weeks that she's gonna absolutely love it and thrive she is an intelligent girl she is a smart girl she is the most incredible ever I love Aoife so much hi mr. Milo and I just can't wait for her to feel comfortable over there and I can't wait for her to feel at home over there which is gonna take a long time um, but whenever that happens I cannot wait for her because she has worked her damn ass off to be able to um, go to Japan for a year to study and I'm so happy for her. it couldn't have happened to a better person and I just want her to fully enjoy the experience so whenever I was messaging her today I was like oh, I just want her to enjoy it um, obviously that's going to come whenever um, she gets that level of um, feeling in a way that she belongs there because we were talking about that as well where she was like I feel very you know odd one out because I haven't met any other students yet and I'm like this small person in this big 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 city all by myself and once she feels that she belongs there and once she feels comfortable with that she is going to absolutely thrive and love it so that was a little conversation I have with her for a, for a bit this morning um, and I'm just sending her all my best so if you can keep Aoife in your thoughts that her experience in Japan will be incredible and she'll start to meet new people and she'll start to feel um, comfortable and safe out there um, just I'm keeping her in here if you could just send her a good vibe right now we'll do that I'm sending it to her um, so yeah, that is currently what um, I spent my morning doing, just talking to her. 
and it is still really 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 hot today I mean the weather does not look that great it's like cloudy but there are so many people on the beach which is going to show you that it is quite hot today it's very 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 humid don't ask why I'm wearing a jumper I just don't want to be wearing a shirt right now because I don't know why but I sweat more whenever I wear a t-shirt and my arms are exposed fully rather than a jumper I can't explain it um, but yeah it is incredibly humid today the weather app said that it was going to be raining today and I was looking forward to it they said there was going to be thunderstorms last night but I could barely breathe last night because it was so hot. <sighs> I hate you, Summer. I hate you, Summer. This really does taste like a melted ice cream. I'm absolutely obsessed with the fact that once I stopped filming, my neighbors went in. Apparently the show is over. <laughs> look, like it doesn't even look like that nice of a day, but if I zoom in, you'll see that there are so many people at the beach because it is very, very, very hot today. Can you see that? Look at the amount of people at the beach right now. Because it is really hot today, still. Boy, I can't wait for the autumn weather. September, please. Currently, this is my setup, and these seagulls can absolutely go fuck themselves. This was something that was going to start off very wholesome, and now I have a sore head, and none of my food and the rest of it is probably fucking disgusting. Let me go on a little rant here. Those seagulls can go fuck themselves. Okay, something that started off so wholesome and so nice turned into disaster. So I thought I would come down to the beach at sunset and enjoy, you know, journaling, start journaling again and get myself a sausages and chips, which I had right here. And now I um, have no food and, oh, it's coming over again. Uh-uh, uh-uh, mama. Mm-mm, I'm -mm, not getting any more. Now I have no food and a sore head. So if you want to know what happened, I was walking down to sit down and literally it happened so quickly. And it's, it's only happened to me once where I got a hot dog ripped out of my hand by a seagull and it was actually the first day that I was in Brighton. But I've never had this experience where they hit me in the process. So it swooped down. I'm so traumatized right now. It swooped down. They're like circling me right now because I have the rest of the chips under my bag. Um, they... Oh my god, they're terrifying me. Should I just give them the rest of it? No, because then there's going to be so many of them over here. You know what? They can just surround me. So, oh, they're scaring me now. This is the first time in Brighton I've been scared of the seagulls. So, it happens so quickly. It swoops down and... Before I noticed that it's taken my sausage and like three chips, I don't know how it managed to grab that much, it whacks me in my head right here with the force of it coming down and it was so strong and so it hits me in my head, I notice that and then grabs a bunch of the food and then a lot of the rest of it goes in the grind and then like a bunch of seagulls just like swarm and get it and number one, I was focusing on the fact that it hurt my head Number two, I'm not going to eat my food now because it has like seagull all in it. And then number three, the most embarrassing thing that everyone on the beach turns and looks at me whenever it happens. I have never been so humiliated in my life. I hate Brighton. I am never returning here. <laughs> this is the first time in three years that this has happened to me. It happened to me the day I moved to Brighton. You know what? There's something beautiful about that. It happened to me the day I moved to Brighton and now it's happening to me the day... A couple days before I leave. Well, I have like a couple weeks left. Oh my god, I'm like terrified whenever they're flying around me now. But anyway, it literally just swooped down. And this little bitch over here is like waiting for me to drop the rest of it. Look at them. They're like waiting for me to drop the rest of it. But that is not gonna happen. Because you know what? I would rather throw it in the bin. They, they pissed me off now. Um, you know what? I don't even want to journal anymore. They pissed me off. Oh my god. This is scary. Um, so yeah, I didn't get to enjoy my moment or my dinner <laughs> and instead just got public humiliation and a sore head. So that's exciting, I guess. But anyway, maybe I should start to journal and write down about this traumatizing event. I'm not even joking. I cannot tell you how sore it was hitting my head. Like, it is, the, it is honestly the first time I've had the full force of a fucking seagull hit me because it was swooping down. And I don't know whether it was its feet that was really sore, its underbelly, I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed that that happened.
That was honestly probably the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me because a group of guys as well and a group of like a group of guys were with a group of girls and they're still down there and they're very clearly similar age to me and they all turned around and looked and then I tried to play it off and I was like oh my god ha 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 living in Brighton and there was just um no saving that moment there was there was no saving that moment that was really 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 fucking embarrassing really embarrassing you know what maybe I do hate Brighton <laughs> I don't mean to be a baby, but the top of my head is really sore right now. <laughs> it's so sore. I wish I could have seen it happen to myself, and I don't know why it didn't pop into my mind that that could happen whenever I was carrying food, but I, I think that I thought that I was safe because there were so many other people walking around the beach with food and stuff, but clearly that is um, not enough that in three years of living in Brighton I would learn and what really terrifies me is that I'm going to have to get up again and I still have like a plate of chips left. So I'm going to get, a by under God, I'm going to get attacked again. I was so excited for fish and chips and I feel that like if I go and buy new ones, that's like really sad. So um, I don't know, I'm going through a little bit of a crisis here. I've just felt so publicly humiliated in the last 10 minutes that I cannot even describe to you. I cannot describe it to you because it's such a bright end thing. It is such a bright end thing of like a seagull attacking you or a seagull stealing your stuff. Um, that whenever it happens to people, people are always like, oh, they're the next one. It happened to them. So it happening to me, it's like that humbling moment of it was my turn, you know? Apparently it happens once every three years. I cannot believe that happened. That was the most vicious one yet. Whenever they stole my hot dog on the day that I moved, it wasn't that bad, honestly, because they scared me before they came down. So I like almost dropped it, but I knew it was coming. So it was like they could have it like as a peace offering to not attack me. And I was also a lot more scared of them. But I'm going to be honest, in three years of Brighton, I've gotten a little bit comfortable with these. I've gotten a little bit comfortable with these fuckers. I feel like that all just got reversed. I feel like my progress with them has all just gotten reversed. That noise is now terrifying to me. I'm just so embarrassed about how many people my age saw that happen. <laughs> my head is so sore. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not in the mood to journal anymore. You know what I did to kind of make the grips around me think that I wasn't as affected as what I was, you know, trying to like play it off? I like immediately sat down and the seagulls were swarming me. So they were going to try steal my chips. So I put the chips under my bag. I pull out my notebook and I pretend to start writing, you know, like, yeah, that happened to me. Yeah, I got attacked by a seagull, but, you know, it doesn't affect me. I'm just going to start journaling. So that was my method. Is there something you want? Sorry, there's a seagull there. Is there something you want? Haven't you stolen enough from me today? My dignity, my jumbo sausage, many chips. Is there anything else you could possibly want from me? Is there anything else you could want from me? Actually, it wasn't even this kind of one that stole it from me, so I don't even have a problem. Oh, they're stealing their food, no. <laughs> See, look, it just happens to everyone. Except I got attacked. It was one of the big white ones. So like the full grown adults, and they have some fucking smack to them. These ones are like the babies. I'm trying to show you an example of the one that came for me. Hello? Why is there so many babies around here? Um, it was one like this, but it was more white. It's like a fully grown up one. Is there something that you want from me? Please. Please leave me. I am never returning to this city once I move. You know what? I had three good years. Not anymore. Not anymore. Mm -mm. I'm so humiliated. Oh my god, they're really coming for them. They're really coming for them, my. Look at them, they're swarming these people. They're swarming these people. I'm traumatized. Okay, I'm about to do something really fucking scary. I have to dump the chips somewhere or else I'm gonna be attacked, so I'm literally just going to throw them. And we'll see what happens. Ugh. 
Let's go. Let's do this. These people are fucking terrifying. Fucking hell. Brian T, and I have shelter. Before I talk about how traumatizing that was, and I ended up getting to eat some sausage and chips, so fuck you to all the seagulls out there. Um, my friend sent me this, um, like last year, and it is a Stitch Christmas outfit. And I never, ever, ever put it on any of the animals, because I completely forgot, because I'm such an awful fucking friend. So, I am going to put it on today and see who it's going to fit. It's either going to be Dolly or it's going to be Milo. Now, I think this is a Milo size or maybe we could squeeze Dolly in this. We're going to try this out. So, this is for my friend who sent this to me last year. Okay. I don't know how to do this. Okay, it's definitely a snug fit. I wonder if we could get the hat up. Oh my goodness, is that Stitch? Look, let's show everyone. Is that Stitch? Stitch, oh my goodness. So shout out to my friend who bought this for me last year. It was for her whenever she was a pup. But look at this, she so fits in it. She's a little stitchy stitch. She's a little stitchy stitch. She's a little stitchy. Oh, she just realized she has it on. She's a little stitch, oh my goodness. Oh, oh. It, do you not look like the cutest girl ever? You look so cute right now. All right, let's take it off because it's quite hot. But thank you so much to my friend. She sent me this like big package last year and I just never got around to using everything. She sent me like candles and everything. Um, she's the greatest. I'm out of breath from doing the bare minimum. But let me take this off you. There you go. Good girl, thank you for cooperating. I love you. Oh, Bonnie's trying to get in. <laughs> that was what that slam was. It's her running against the door. Who wants the toy? Who wants the toy? Who wants the toy? Who wants the toy? Woohoo! Oh my goodness. Who wants the fucking seagull? I didn't even realize I still had this. Fuck you, seagull. I don't want to rip this shit out of the Come on, rip the shit out of the seagull. Rip the shit out of the seagull. Come on, Bonnie. You know you want it, Bonnie. The one time I want you to rip the shit out of the seagull, go for it. Rip it to shit. Come on. Rip it to shit, please. Yes, Bonnie, that is exactly what we want. I wish you were on the beach to do that. Fuck that seagull. Uh huh. Yes, Bonnie. That is exactly the kind of energy we are looking for. Come on, we're not done yet. Yes, that is the energy we're looking for. Yes, it is. They stole my jumbo sausage, Bonnie. Rip it to shit. Yes. Very clever. Okay, she's tired now. <laughs> that is the energy we want, princess. That is the energy we want, princess. Okay, everyone, so let's talk about that. First of all, I am wearing this shirt that I got at Universal. It is one of the most hideous shirts ever, but if I say that it's camp, I love it. Um, it is this Homer t-shirt, clearly. And I remember I bought it at Universal... Sorry, I can't talk, I'm so tired. At the Universal trip in 2022 with my mom. And the reason I bought it was because I needed a shirt to like change into or something like that. And this was like the only one that was available and I was like, you know what, it's like kind of camp. And then I felt embarrassed walking around the park wearing it the entire stage. Um, anyway. I have been waiting for this. I bought this when Seagullgate happened. That was so crazy. I, I, I recorded the clip of throwing the chips um because i wanted like you to see that this like they're very 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 aggressive and i know a lot of people are gonna think i'm being dramatic or a lot of people aren't gonna believe me and the reason i filmed that clip was to kind of show you that once there's food involved you were seeing that they were fighting with each other and so it literally went like this so it came from obviously behind me went like this smacked me in the back of my head then when my head dropped down, literally with its beak, must have just went like this into the food because the fucking sausage was gone, which was like this size, and a bunch of the chips were gone. So it literally went like that, and I don't know if this was the feet that hit me, or this was the under of the body, I don't know, but it was sore. 
and it was sore for a while after and I was like oh my god like it really wasn't like a forceful hit I'm sure me hitting it isn't helping here I just think there's something so ironic about the fact that I was like I'm gonna journal and I'm gonna go to the beach and I'm gonna have my my fish and chips and I'm gonna you know, bring out the, the notepad and pen to paper and write down my thoughts with the sunset in the background and literally before I even get to sit down the most, um, worst event happens. Um, so yeah, that was crazy and that was not how I thought my night was gonna go. I thought I was gonna come back and feel, ooh, zen, I've journaled, but I'm gonna start journaling, um, soon. I don't know if I'm gonna do it tonight or whenever, but I really do want to get back into it because I really do enjoy whenever I'm in the journal, the journalizing, the journaling phase because I feel that I'm healthy working through thoughts that are in here that I'm not like letting them pile up and pile up and pile up. Um, so that is probably something that I'm going to start in a couple days. Who knows, maybe we'll go see the sunset tomorrow and get attacked by another fucking seagull. Um, but I'm someone who has not been scared of birds ever in my life. I love birds. Um, and I'm not someone who's been scared of seagulls. And today is the first day that I was walking around after that, literally going like this, going like this, going like this. Terrified, I ended up walking up and down the pier because um, the sunset was beautiful and I was listening to my music and I was really enjoying There's a lot of people out. It felt really nice. Um, There's so much food being like made that it, it, it smelled like I was in my holidays um, in like Spain or something, walking through like the markets. Um, so it felt very nostalgic. So I was walking up and down and I was literally terrified of the seagulls that were flying above me because I was like, oh my god, I never thought that they would actually come down and hit me. I thought that they would just steal my shit. You know, if it just stole my fucking sausage and um, chips, I wouldn't be as pissed off um, as if it just did it without attacking me. Anyway, um, I'm really, really, really tired, but I was going to go on live, uh, but I don't know if you can see my eyes are starting to go all bloodshot, which means that I am tired. Um... So I didn't really drink much of my matcha today because it kind of started to taste gross in the end. Remember I didn't get ice and I was like, ooh, it tastes like ice cream. Yeah, it started to taste really nasty very soon. So I didn't finish that. So, and I haven't had a Red Bull, so I haven't really had any caffeine today. So we're seeing what happens to my body whenever I'm not overly reliant on caffeine. Um, but instead of going live, what I am going to do is do a bunch of shit around the apartment because... It's stressing me out that how many days am I moving in now? Let me check like my lettings hub. Um... Anyway, I think it's like 20 something or like 20 or something like that. So let me log in and figure out. Um, but I really do got to start doing shit because I, I had a couple days where I was doing so much and I've kind of fell, fallen off. Okay, I'm moving 21 days. Um, so I've really fallen off the horse a little bit. So what I think I might do is kind of devote a couple hours that I was going to go live tonight in doing stuff. Um, because I also need to book a moving van and I need to tell them the estimate of how much stuff I'm bringing, but I won't know until I pack, so. Uh, I was about to say I'm currently going through like a water phase, but I think it's just because it's been so hot today. By the way, pisses me off that it was supposed to be fucking rainy and thunderstorms and stuff. And today was even fucking hotter than whenever the sun was blaring. If I check and tomorrow is the same, I'm, I'm just not going to wake up because it is... <sighs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no! Oh my god, tomorrow... Oh my god. Tomorrow, sunny, Tuesday, sunny, Wednesday, sunny, Thursday, sunny, Friday, Saturday. We have an entire week of this? It's annoying me because I can't even bring the dogs out. Like, I can't even bring the dogs out during sunset because it's still really fucking hot. And they're struggling enough in the apartment as it is. And I want to be careful of not putting Bonnie out in the heat and stressing her out and that she'll let it collapse. And Dolly is refusing to walk whenever I bring her out anymore because it's too hot and I don't blame her. So it's like, I want to take them out again. So anyway, I'm going to devote a couple hours right now to working around the apartment. I look a fucking mess. Okay, everyone, please ignore how ridiculous I look right now. So I have currently got a couple bags on the go here that I am about to dump. Now, these were things that were clothes that were really, really, really stained that I couldn't get the stains out of, um, or just literally trash from the last couple days or anything like that. Um, a lot of the cat trees and stuff are all going. Um, a lot of old dog beds are going. Um, I was just going through like things from 
like a couple years ago that I had in like storage um, but I'm currently out of my balcony right now and it is really 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 weird because it is completely completely foggy and you can literally not even see the pier because it is so foggy right now um, but I do have a question that I need your advice on um, and your help now I did say that I was going to you okay Bonnie I was gonna ask for things here and there and I really need to know people's advice so as you can see, I have been washing my clothes right here, bomb on there, um, and then I've been putting them in these boxes, right, for the, the, the time being, for time being, right, and then I'm going to be vacuum sealing them. So the boxes are overflowing, as you can see. I have one, two, three, four, and then five boxes, five being right here. By the way, these aren't huge boxes. They stop here, but it's just because they're open. Um, so there's a lot of clothes and stuff and it's it's really the thing that and I have like two more washes to do Like I, my main thing is just clothes like I fucking hell I have so many clothes Um, I didn't realize I had this many. I think it's only to me me uh, moving I feel like in future I'm I'm gonna stop myself being allowed to buy clothes for at least a year because I just have too many um, But anyway, I need to know people's advice the main thing that's like cluttering the apartment right now is these boxes. So this is, the reason I have them in boxes is because I was still wearing clothes. Like everything in my wardrobes is now out here. But I need to know when to vacuum seal or how to do this process because I move in 20 days, right? But I need to know when is like not too soon or not too late to be moving all my clothes in because I need to be also giving the number of bags or number of boxes to the delivery van so he can um, give me the size of van and price and stuff. But I'm not gonna be able to do that until I start putting the clothes away. And they're my main things because right now, I, I'm trying to think how many boxes I have. And I don't think I'm gonna have that many boxes from the apartment, but I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five boxes um, total for the apartment and I think I'm going to cap the apartment stuff at six boxes. I think I have everything pretty much done right now in terms of everything like decor or things I need to put in boxes basically. And sorry if I'm not making sense. I'm like, my brain's a little bit, I'm starting to get a little bit stressed out because of the move um, and I feel like I don't know what to do. This is why I'm like trying to get some advice. Um, and then obviously, my TV is going to be going in the moving van, and my record player, my computers, the two computers, and that's really the only things that are going to be standalone. Um, but when can I start packing my clothes, or should I already start doing that, or should I start putting a certain amount of outfits out for a certain amount of days? I need advice, because I, I'm going to constantly keep the apartment like this until I move, and I really can't be doing that. So if anyone can give me any advice, please, because I'm starting to get a little bit stressed about the move. You know what? It was it was inevitable it was going to come. I guess it's been 20 days until the move. Things are really starting to kick in. I'm starting to get a little bit stressed. Um, I would love advice. Um, I'm like frantically pacing my apartment, um, trying to figure out what to do. So if anyone has any advice, um, and I... I just, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you. So I'm also gonna end off the vlog here. Sorry for it being so chaotic. Um, my plan for the night is to continue packing stuff away, doing loads of washing, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm gonna get into bed tonight and I think I'm gonna allow myself to watch Coraline. Now, I will update you whether or not I do watch Coraline because I might just stay up all night packing, but I would love to watch Coraline tonight. I know I've been saying no, you know, no Halloween movies until October, but maybe we'll make an exception just because I love Coraline so much. Um, so, yes, if anyone has any recommendations or answers or anything, I'd really, really, really appreciate it because I'm starting to get a little bit stressed out. So, I'm going to love you and leave you. Good night.